we'll be talking about um, distractions, especially when you're behind the wheel. And the three I'm going to be talking about is texting and driving, Kids. your annoying passengers, and the radio. Broom, broom. I'm driving a Honda Civic. Oh, Sarah texted me. Oh, her cousin died? That's too bad. You know, you die. You don't want to be that guy that dies texting and driving. So what you want to do if you don't have a passenger is throw that thing on the back in the trunk somewhere where you can't reach it on do not disturb until you're at your destination unless you have a passenger with you to go check your phone. Another distraction is your passengers. I want McDonald's! I want McDonald's! Yeah, I cannot handle that many crybabies in my car. So what I'm gonna do is you get out. I can't Bye. handle you. You find another way back home. See? You just talk like that with confidence, they'll leave you alone. Anyway, now I'm just stuck with this guy. Yo! Now, not I'm only do I not have to buy two people McDonald's now, I only have to buy one. I cut myself. So, it's a win-win situation. If your passengers are too rowdy, it distracts you from the road and you don't want a collision because that hurts your wallet. Just like bringing <laughs> two people to McDonald's. Another thing that's distracting you from the road is your climate and music radio thingy, okay? So you're just bumping some tunes, right? See, that's too loud for me to uh, concentrate on anything. So I'm gonna try lowering the volume, having my uh, concentration 50-50, and sometimes, you know, concentration more on here because I don't know where the button is. This is a car I've never been in before because we just stole it. But anyway, so yeah, your full distraction isn't on the road and that's not good. So if you have a passenger, you can tell them to do it or, you know, just tell them to do that or just not, not have the radio on because you know your safety and other people's safety is good <laughs>